Fine to good, and from good to great, my name is Cooper Goodbody and I'm the host for this show. This episode is for people who are just starting to learn English. You will hear the same text read at two different levels, easy and hard. The show's name is, Why You Should Read. You may have noticed that I used the word text instead of story today because this video has both the full text and my conversation before it. That's because the show today will be a little different. Read why you must read at the beginning level. Why do I need to read English? It's something my students ask me a lot. They think, I go to school, do my work, and watch English language films. Why should I read? Reading is really the best way to get better at English. I'll explain. To begin, reading is very important. There used to be a smaller percentage of people who went to college compared to now, when a higher percentage does. More reading and writing is needed for every job now than it was 100 years ago. This is true for everyone, whether you work in an office or as a mechanic. Second, reading is the best way to get better at speaking, writing, vocabulary, and grammar. Even though it won't directly help you listen better, it will help you learn new words. Plus, a bigger vocabulary makes it easier to listen, which makes your listening skills better. You likely read a lot of English in school. You probably read dull books and stories that end with work to do. But that's not what I mean. Reading just for fun is what I mean. That means reading a book because you like it. You read because you want to, not because your teacher told you to. Thought, should read this book. But you're not reading. You choose to read. They didn't try anything new in American schools. These schools were for boys who had broken the law. For example, some of them had stolen things. Some boys got books for free. Like James Bond, they were fun books. Do what you want, they told her. There's no need to read the books. The boys did read the books, though. A lot of books were read. Some boys read every other day. The kids were given a test after two years. They liked school more and got better at reading and writing after getting the books. They didn't get better at reading and writing because they didn't have the books. Some of them got worse, in fact. Native speakers aren't the only ones who can say this. Besides that, they tested something on English students in the Fiji Islands. They taught in three different ways. The first way was to teach English normally. They had grammar classes, worked on grammar, and other things. Reading alone was the second way. In class, the kids read books. Reading together was the third way. The teacher had the kids read books. The two ways of reading were the best after a year. They did a lot better than the students who had English classes every day. In Singapore, they did the experiment again. The students who got to read alone did really well. They did the best on tests of grammar. While some students took grammar classes, they did worse on tests of grammar. When we go to regular classes, we try to remember words and grammar. Reading makes us learn things on its own. You might be thinking, it's too hard for me to read in English. I always need to look things up in the dictionary. It's not fun. I am not able to do it. I get it. I wrote this book because of that. The stories in this book are fun and easy, so I think you'll enjoy reading it. The stories at the beginning are short and simple. The stories that come after are longer and more difficult. 
There will be a time when you say, wow, I did it. English Stories Podcast is the name of the podcast I make. One of the tales I created for this collection. But I improved the stories in this book. You can now choose to read the stories at a level that is easy, moderate, hard, or advanced. All of the stories are fairy tales. Not all fairy tales are well known. Some are very well known. I wrote one of them myself. Some of you might be wondering, fairy tales. Kids should read fairy tales. I need to learn business and science terms that will help me. It can't be fun. The words used in these stories will actually come in handy. McQuillan looked at words used in books as part of an experiment. A good number of the words were on lists of academic words. These are word lists that you need to know in order to go to college. Rolls and Rogers also tried something new. They asked students if reading a million words of science fiction would help them learn important science words for college. Yes was the answer.